here's my old here's the spot I was in when I first started video taping and here's that fire pit that I made it's well made look at it it's still up looks good too on my walk I found this tarp set up I really like this This is a uh, type of a barrel cactus. I believe there's different types, um, but as you can see in the top, it is that the, the face of it is facing, and I tested out my uh, compass, it's facing exactly south. That's what they do, although I don't know why it isn't leaning over a little bit more, but what a barrel cactus does is it leans its, like the top of its head, and it leans it, it naturally leans it toward the south because that's where the the heat of the day is going to be 
And what it does then is it sort of gives the front of it a little bit of shade and it also the back just a little bit. So the force of the sun is hitting the very top like this like the very top of the of the head. So um, yeah and they, these are sort of like not really totally like fish hooks. Look at those. Um, yeah barrel cactus. This is the first one I've seen out here. There's the whole top of the head. You can see in there recently had flowers. So they're gone. The fruit, the flowers. It's still hard. It's like a wound, a barrier. raw, raw desert, raw quartzite desert. Uh, I have Ronald here, and he's the owner of this wonderful tarp system. Hi, Ronald. Hi, Manny. So he's going to um, kind of explain what we got going on here, because I think this is ingenious. I really do. So, Ronald, if you want to uh, maybe explain, you know, like, what, what, what are these poles here? Okay, well, I have one that's setting down, so I can show you. Okay. I can show a little bit. Okay. Better. Yeah. Watch yourself. I want you to fall. Yeah, I will. This, these are painter poles. These are painter poles extensions. Eight, four feet to eight feet. And what I have done is that I have took a painter's pole. I drilled a hole in it. It's okay. I drilled a hole in there, which you might be able to see here. That's, I put a screw in it. Ah, oh, yes. And that screw will help to hold that tarp. Uh, when you pull your tarp and just, and then put your screw on, uh, put your, put this uh, tarp over the screw, and then uh, you can just kind of pull it back to, to hold it in place. Okay. And that's what you get. That's what you do. Is there a grommet that you're, you've already yes. got this, oh, there's yes. a grommet there's there, a gotcha. Grommet already there. Oh, okay. Grommet's already there. And for this particular setup, my tarp size here is a 12 by 14, and I find that that works uh, very well. Um, it works very well. What I usually like to do is to take this 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 one and extend it higher, and then so so the sun doesn't go come out and it's more shady. Uh, 
Okay. And uh, I'll usually tack those down all the way down okay. to the ground. So he's got this one tacked down to the ground. And I usually tack them all down to the ground. But, oh. Yeah, I'll tack them all down. Oh, I see. You've got, you've got even one over here. This one's on the ground. And he, this is facing south, I assume. Yeah, and he's got right. one right there. Yeah. And then this pole isn't as high as the other ones. No. So it keeps it down. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now, usually, now if I tighten and pull it a little bit more. Okay. Like, like for instance, this pole, and watch the gap right here. Okay. Pull on this pole and tighten it. Watch this gap here, how they lift it up. See? Yeah. See how to tighten it go all the way across. Okay. That, that, that enables okay. me. And you're pulling on it. Yes. If I if I uh, tighten it up, it will enable me to back park in and out, move in and out without uh, my tailgate being up. Okay. So this, like this. keeps it. Yeah. He's gonna. Ronald's gonna show how he keeps it lifted up so he doesn't have to stoop over. Isn't this ingenious? Oh my gosh. And there's yeah. Look at that, and now he getting, and he's tall. How tall are you? Five nine. Five nine. Look at, and he's standing under. Well, I just think this is ingenious. And look at the back of his, his um, is this an SUV? No, actually, it is a Volvo. A Vol. He's got the Volvo yeah, going is on. A V seventy station wagon. Wow. Oh. And you got your camp stove in here. You got, you got your propane. Mm -hmm. Love the chair. So we're dealing with one, two, three, four, five, five I have, poles. I have six poles. Six total. poles. There's one right there. Yeah. yeah. What do you use this extra one for? Just oh, in case you wanted to put that in up. In case, or? yeah, because I I uh, didn't I put uh, in, in order to make room to park in, I extend, uh, uh, fastened it on the, the f first one, missed the next, mixed the next, and then fastened it on one of the others. And then the, the, far, the furthest one, I slant it down on the ground. Yes. I slant that one down. Right. That's in case it does rain. Well, it doesn't really rain, but you know what I'm saying. In case it rained, then that will all be sliding down. Um, all of it will be sliding downward toward the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. No, thank you. Thank you so much, Ronald. So you got? Do you sleep in your in yes, your? I you do. sleep in your Volvo. Yes. All right. Yeah, I do. I haven't made it up, but that's what. But that's <laughs> that's fine. And now you've got your screen here. Does this? Does your screen um, system? Does it have a floor on it? No, but that's what oh. my tarp is. That's a, okay. It's, that is a nine by thirteen screen system. Okay. I have a ten by twenty tarp. Okay. And that tarp <clears throat> happens to give me some privacy. Gotcha. I have a privacy tent, which I'm planning on getting, and you know, this, this I won't have. But yeah. I'm to minimize to a point where I'm um, beginning to minimize to a point where I won't be needing this here. So that's, where my, that's my little privacy, my bathroom in the corner. <laughs> right. So, I, you are ingenious. You, you... I'm gonna guess you've got this tarp and it goes here, and then it comes up yes. around. Oh my! So that you have privacy. Yes. It's ingenious. Mm -hmm. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're very yes. I've been walking here, and I because I like to get my walking and my uh, followers know that I I'm a walker, and I got to get my ten thousand steps in. So I walk this way, walk. But I've been watching this campsite. This is ingenious. Yeah, I love no, I it. do need. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to tell me about um. Your solar here, Ronald. Well, this is a Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel kit. And it's 25 watts per panel, which totals 20, uh, 100 watts. I have that uh, 100 watt solar panel kit. I have it also hooked up to my two 6 volt batteries. Uh, total Watt hours is 470, and that's basically it for now. I I do have a small suitcase solar that I use to charge my phones. Then I bought this so that they so that I can uh, run my refrigerator off of and other things uh, appliances. So that's about the extent of this. Two uh, six volts. Okay.
total uh, amp hours are 470 okay. amp hours. And is this your refrigerator? No, the refrigerator is oh. behind here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but he runs a refrigerator. And, I mean, I would, you know, I'm sure he would love to, maybe later I'll come over. But, you know, he hasn't, he didn't expect me to come walking by, so um, I'm not going to impose on his um, personal space. And uh, he's got a bed in there, and he, we know he's got a refrigerator. And um, tell us, Ronald, um, how long you've been a nomad. Well, I've been a nomad since, uh, oh, it has been October the 6th, so it's a little over, over a year. I'd say about 14 months now, and uh, I really enjoy it. I, uh, it was by choice that I uh, decided to be a no nomad. And uh, truthfully, it's a learning curve, <laughs> but I'm enjoying uh, every day of the journey. I truly am. Well, it looks like you've got a really nice camp here. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Uh, you're welcome, and thank you for interviewing me. Thank you. Maybe you can't see, but I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, I changed location and I found a new camping spot. And so it's just Carmen and I. And we're at the edge of where you can camp. So over there, the barriers here, over there we can walk around and it is raw uh, desert area. It's really gorgeous. So, um, I'm gonna walk over there in a minute. Um, let's see, Carmen has a chair that she wants to give this uh, mom with a baby and a little girl. And they have a dog, so I don't wanna walk over there. The dog might be protected. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, it's, uh, so we'll go see, you know, how everything goes. And uh, so what do you think? Do you like my spot? Gorge, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So let's go walk over here. So yeah, it probably looks more of the same than before, but it is a little bit different over here. Um, now I will tell you, um, a couple of years ago, way out, a lot of people do a lot of walking way out there, and these young people found a huge. I think it was like eight ounces, um, a gold nugget. <laughs> I know, I know. So a lot of people like to walk out here. Um, but yeah, it was on, in this area they found that. And the casino at Parker found out about it and they wanted to buy it. So they paid a pretty good price for it. They wanted to buy it because it was from the area. Can you believe that? So yeah, there's still gold out here and silver and all that. So I'm not going to go find it, though. <laughs> I'm not going to go look for gold. <laughs> Although Robert, when I was here last year, Robert was like, we need to walk out there. But it was in the springtime, and that's when um, rattlesnakes are, are out and about. So here's an interesting piece of wood here. 
Little piece of wood. You're not supposed to gather wood for fire. It's one of the big rules. No wood gathering out here. you enjoyed this video today a little bit of everything going on um, won't be here too much longer on BLM land but uh, love you guys your day is going great <laughs>